Hey, this is Eric with RegFox, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to verify your identity as well as your organization's information so that you can receive event payouts for your event. And this is all using WebConnex payments. So to do so, we're gonna go up to the gear here and we're gonna go under payment processors. And then we see here that WebConnex payments needs to have the payouts set up. So click on this link, it's going to launch the portal here. So let's walk you through each of the sets of things that are gonna be required for you to complete. The first is gonna be the company details, and you're gonna to need to provide uh, an organizational document that proves your organization is legitimate. We'll talk about that. We'll also have to add decision makers, so any owners over 25%, uh, also a signatory and a controlling person. Payout details, this is where we're gonna add our bank account information for our direct deposits, and then a service agreement and a PCI questionnaire, and these are both really simple. So let's walk you through each one of these and I'll show you in detail and I'll complete them myself. So the first thing is going to ask you for your name and country, confirm where your business is located and the legal name of the company, and then we're gonna hit next. Then you're gonna choose from private company, public company, incorporated partnership, nonprofit, government organization, corporate association, and so you can choose from here. Again, the process is very similar. I'm gonna choose a private company for an LLC. Next, it's going to ask you for your employer identification number or your EIN number, and this is found on your tax returns or when you first formed your business. So I'm gonna add that in here now. And then we're gonna hit next. Now it's gonna ask for the address, and so start typing in this field to find your address. And if you have a different location, you can also choose that option as well. Then once it finds your address, you're gonna hit next. Then you're gonna confirm the information here, review it, make sure it's all correct. So review the structure, review the name, the EIN number, and the registration address, and then hit submit. All right, so company details are submitted. Next, we have to add decision makers. And you need to have at least one controlling person added here, and also at least one signatory. If you've got multiple owners in your business or LLC, you need to add any owner that is over 25%. So I'm gonna add a controlling person and a signatory person, and this can be the same person. So we're gonna choose controlling person and signatory, and if you had owners, you would choose them and add them individually as you need. So I'm gonna check this and then complete this now. All right, so I've completed the information here for myself. I got my name, date of birth, country of residence, last for my social, email, phone, and job title, and then I can go next. Now it's gonna ask me for my personal address. Again, similar before, you're gonna type in an address here, and then you're gonna choose it and confirm. Once your address is confirmed, you're gonna hit next. Then you have the summary here. So make sure this is all correct, your name, date of birth, last 40 of social, country, address, and if it all looks good, then you hit submit. All right, so for me, that's good enough. I've got the one controlling person and the one signatory. Now I'm gonna go back to the overview. And so here we see that the company details is in review, the decision makers is in review, that's all great. Next, what I'm going to do is to set out the payout details for my direct deposits. And you have two options here. The first option is to use a service called Trustly, and this is going to provide you instant verification of your bank account. It's going to prompt up a login for your bank account that's totally secure and verified by the banks will allow you to verify your organization details and bank account, and that's really, really fast. Or if you prefer not to, you can choose to upload and attach a statement from your bank account as well. I'm gonna show you what the Verify through the mobile banking app looks like, and this is gonna pop up on a window. I'm gonna log in, and I'm gonna choose uh, my identity and verify, and it will be all instantly verified. So I'm gonna do that now. And there you go, my bank account has been verified, and then I can hit next. I can see the summary of my bank account here, and then hit continue. All right, so our organization's been verified, decision makers have been added, and my payout details are in here as well. Only the last two things to do is to sign the services agreement, and so you can review here. These are all standard provisions for credit card processors. We're gonna choose the signer, we're gonna check that and hit sign. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the PCI DSS questionnaire. This is standard credit card details here. 
and we can review this and then if it looks good, we're gonna go here and hit sign and then hit sign there. All right, and that's it. That is how you verify yourself. That's how you set up your payout instructions and complete the process using WebConnect's payments. Even though that these statuses still say in review, you can be processing credit cards right now. You just won't be able to receive your first payouts until those reviews are complete. And so if there's anything that comes up, our team will email you and work with you to resolve it. But that concludes this demonstration for how to set up your WebConnect's payments account, verify it, and receive direct deposits. Hopefully this has been helpful. Please reach out to us for any questions you might have, and we'll catch you on the next demo.